I think it's pretty clear that it's going to be a hybrid world. And I think the general purpose models of the world are very good at these, quote unquote, shallower use cases that aren't necessarily business specific. Like they're not necessarily going to be your proprietary model or heavy proprietary differentiation using AI. But they are going to be important to composing email, maybe writing certain types of basic code that aren't relevant to like deep code bases that are very custom. So I think that will always be there and there will always be like a best general purpose model, whether it be open AIs or Anthropics or Googles, et cetera. And then I'm starting to definitely see a shift of, okay, well, this is great. This is an absolutely amazing technology. We've gotten to develop advanced RAG and prompt engineering solutions on top of it, but it's still not enough. These models, when they're general, they're optimizing for what's known as generalization error or the average error across all examples it sees on the internet. You know, they're reading the whole internet. They're trying to, they're they're trying to just reduce average error, average error over everything. But average error means you're not actually perfect at those facts. Um, and it turns out we actually want something closer to deterministic on those facts. Um, and so how do we mix what is probabilistic and really good at understanding similarities where we want hi and hello to mean kind of the same thing. Um, but we also want those facts to be absolutely perfect, where if you get, you know, your birthday off by a day or two, that's actually, a, that's a major issue. If you get your uh, revenue number off by zero, that's a major issue. Um, but from the model's perspective, it's it's not. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, how do you make sure those, uh, for those facts, those specific facts, your business or otherwise, um, there's no alternative for the model. And as a result, it's pretty good at everything, but it's perfect at nothing.